Hello everyone, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to my class. I am Tami Attar from Alfred International School and College. I am class teacher of class 2. Today I am taking your math class and today's topic is fraction. So uh, before um, ex doing exercise we need to know what is fraction. So um, look at the board. I am understanding you what is fraction. We get fraction to divide a whole number. So at first we need to know what is whole number. From 0, from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and another digit are whole number. We can get fraction by divide this whole number. So fraction is we simply we divide. When we divide a whole number we can get a fraction. So look here. It is a, it's a bread thing, it's a bread, okay, when we divide this bread into two equal part, into two equal part, each part we will call, we will call half, each part we will call half, it's a whole number, it's a bread, when we divide this bread into two equal part, each part we will call half, it is written as, it is written as, It is written as half and read as read as one by one by two. Similar way, when we divide one bread into equal three part, each part we will call one third. So each part we will call one third. Okay, each part is third. One third. It is written as one third and read as one by one by three. Similar way, when you divide one bread into four equal part, each part will call one fourth. Each part will call one fourth. It is written as one fourth. And it is read as 1 by 4. Okay, it is clear. Now, so another thing, when you divide a uh, bread into 4 equal part, into 4 equal part, if I take, if I take among of them 2, if I take 2 of them, so it is it will be 2 by 4 okay so it is read as 2 by 4 and is write as 2 by 4 is write as 2 by 4 and read is 2 by 4 okay similar way so if we divide one thing 5 equal part Each part will call one fifth. One fifth. It is written as one fifth and it is read as one by fifth. So, this is fraction. So, fraction is when we divide a whole number, we can get fraction. And for fraction, fraction has two parts. So, I am showing here. Showing here like 2 by 4. Okay, 2 by 4. Here, 2 by 4. It is a fraction. Fraction has two part. Fraction has two part. Upper part we call numerator and lower part we will call denominator. Okay, upper part we will call numerator and lower part we will call denominator. So 
this is a fraction. Fraction has two parts. We get fraction by divide the whole number. And fraction has two parts. Upper part is numerator and lower part is denominator. Okay? So this is our fraction. So we are doing now exercise from our book. So you have to take out your books. Success math ahead and PZ. This is 93. Okay, page number 93. So, PC 93 and exercise 7.4, number 8. Read the fraction. Read the fraction, write in words. Write in words. Read the fraction, write in words. We need to this fraction, write in words. Okay, number one, four by nine. So we know it's a fraction. So we write here, four by nine is a fraction. It is read as Number three. I am doing number three here. One by six. Again. Again. Be right here. One by six is a fraction. One by six inwards. Okay. Six. Okay, I am doing another math for you, and left math you will do at your home. Okay. So number sixteen. One by ten. One by ten is a fraction it is read as one by ten so I'm showing three maths here and late maths you practice at your home Okay, so number one is finished. Now we are doing exercise 7.4, number B. So I am erasing this board. Okay, 
है सो आई पिक अ मैथ नंबर फोर इन इलेवेन बाय सेवेंटीन सेवेंटीन इज द पार्ट लुक हेयर वी नो फ्रैक्शन हैज टू पार्ट अपर पार्ट इज न्यूमेटर एंड लोअर पार्ट इज डिनोमिनेटर सो दिस मैथ वी नीड टू fill the blank by n or d if this is numerator we write n if this is denominator we write d okay so 11 by 17 we are talking about 17 17 is the what of course 17 is the denominator so we write here d okay so another math number 7 In one by two, one is the what? In one by two, one is what? One is numerator. So we fill the blanks with n. Okay, we fill the blanks by n for numerator. Here we write n. Okay, next one. Next one, number nine. In loving by thirteen, thirteen is the what? In eleven by thirteen, thirteen is denominator. Of course, that is denominator. So we write here. D. That's it. Okay. I'm I'm doing at three maths and other maths you do at your home. Okay. You will practice at your home. So for today my lesson is finished. Hope this lesson is will be helpful for you. So I'll take your class uh, another day and see you very soon. Until then, take care and bye. Stay home. Stay safe. Khuda face. Assalamualaikum.